Um, all right, these are the brothers uh, from the GMS North Carolina Raleigh camp. All right, I'm Brother Ra. Brother Kazatba. Shamar War. Kind, kind. And now we want to do a quick video. Uh, but before we move forward, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the Akimah there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. All right, and then we in a time of uh, heavy, heavy uh, prophecies, judgments going out. That's all right, right. so um, scriptures say, rather ye prophesy. That's right. All right, so we're going to get into some uh, World War Three prophecies. Okay, and Lord willing, uh, be edifying to the elect. Okay. I, um, matter of fact, I got the scripture real fast. I want to get this uh, spirit, you know, because the spirit of Yahweh, of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, yep. so let's get, get, get that uh, spirit of prophecy got it right here. Yep. Huh. Let's see. This is uh, the book of Revelation. Dang. Wouldn't pop up. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, uh, no problem. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, you got tensions building up. And um, we, we're, we're supposed to warn our people, man, why we have the time to be able to do so, man, and, and uh, make our calling and election short, man. We were called to do this work, so we got to continue to warn our people of death and destruction coming forth, all right? Hey, and, and World War Three is a major sign to let our people know how close we are to the end, man, to get right with the Lord, man, before it's too late. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I got it right here. This is um <clears throat> the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet. And is that it's like? And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, "See, thou do it not." All right, and that's the you know that's John the Revelator to the angel, man. Okay, mm -hmm. angels telling him not to worship him, man. Okay, mm -hmm. it says, "I am thy fellow's servant, and of thy brethren that have the the testimony of Yahweh Shai." It says, "Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy." You know, so you know to have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Testimony means the witness mm -hmm. to know. Okay, you know, so to know Yahweh Shai is you gotta be prophesying, man. Mm -hmm. You know, telling our people things to come to pass before it actually happens. Mm -hmm. And one of the main prophecies that are written in the Bible um, that's going to come to pass is World War Three. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, because that's going to be the ushering of our the returning of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, mm -hmm. the word he calls Jesus Christ. That's right. And if I can um, bring a precept out just to land back off what you're saying, man, because, um, you know, this is nothing. The scripture says there's nothing new under the sun. That's right. The ancient prophets was doing the same thing, man. They were prophesying in, in their time. That's right. You know, of things to come to pass, man. And we're, we're, we're called to do this work, man, from Yahweh Shai. That's right. So Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old mm -hmm. prophesied both yeah, against... I could, you know, uh, could you say something with these? So... All our ancient forefathers, man, you know, from Abraham, mm -hmm. Isaac, mm -hmm. Jacob, Lord Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. you know, King Solomon, mm -hmm. King David, yep. you know, all these men, Moses, Ezekiel, they, yep, Ezekiel, Isaiah, you know, mm -hmm. so on and so forth, you know, you know, uh, they've all prophesied against many countries and great kingdoms, man, right. you know, you know, against them. And yep. that's the point, man. We're pressing the downfall of this Edomite structure, man, mm -hmm. okay, mainly here in America, but throughout the all four corners of the earth, man. That's right. Know? Yep, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries uh -huh. and against great kingdoms. All right, of war. Uh -huh. Of war. And that's World War Three. You know, mm -hmm. we're talking, you know, they always talk about war, you know, their times, because they have wars in their times. Mm -hmm. How do you think kingdoms are translated from one kingdom to the next? Right. Through wars, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's be the same thing now, man. We're seeing the transition from Esau to Jacob, you know. The scriptures say, you know, uh, Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob the, the is the beginning, beginning of that follow-up, mm -hmm. man. All right. And how is that going to happen? Through war. That's all right? right. So to have the kingdom of heaven in peace, we got to go through war. That's and right. that's what we're seeing right now. World War Three, man. All right. It says, and of evil. And of evil, bad times, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bad times is coming to this place, America, mm -hmm. and throughout the four corners of the earth, but mainly concentrated in its purest form here in America, man. You that's know? right. That's right. And of pestilence. Kind of diseases, man. Okay. You know, we're seeing diseases at all time here, all time high in America right now, and than we ever seen before. And it's going to only uh, increase as mm -hmm. we get closer to the end, man. That's right. right? You, said you got flesh eating diseases and all these other things mm -hmm. going on, man. Right. All right. 
But hey, the main thing that you know, we brothers, to talk about tonight is the the war aspect, right. man. You know, war is going on in in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. You know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you got different commotions going on to uh, mm-hmm. to start up this war, man. You know, kind. You trigger you trigger a word, so I'm bring out this precept: <laughs> commotion. <laughs> um, and then I'll let the brother get his. Saint Luke chapter twenty one verse nine. It says, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions. Kind of wars and commotions, man. And you look at that word commotions, it goes into basically like a turmoil, mm-hmm. you know, a, a disruption, you know, a disturbance in the peace, mm-hmm. you know. So th- these are the things we're hearing of. There's disturbances in the peace between the nations. You know, the nations are now uh, uh, ramping up a war against each other, man. Okay, mm-hmm. mainly America. It's really America against these other nations, man. Right. You know, and stuff. But we're seeing that. These commotions are going on throughout the four corners of just like the scripture said. All right, you want to say something? About yeah, that? I want to bring out this article just Ty. as it ties in. Um, I'm gonna read this precept, the beginning, and, and, and read into the RT article. Okay. Saint Luke chapter 21 verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, all right. And this article just uh, was sent from one of the brothers in the group chat. It comes from Russia today. All right, and, and it was just sent out. Okay, today it says the title says "Want Trouble." You first, all right. The Philippines, uh, I think he's a, a prime minister or president. Okay. Uh, Derite de, uh, dares U.S. to bring its fleet and declare war on China. All right. Hey, that's that's part of the rumors of war, man. All right. Hey, commotion, man. These, these they're daring the U.S. to to bring their fleet out there, man. That's okay? right. Okay. Hey, if that doesn't sound like war, then I don't know what the hell it does, man. Excuse my language. I don't know what it does, man. Okay. You know. I got, I got a little definition right first. This is a definition of commotion, right? Mm-hmm. It says, uh, a state of confused or noisy disturbance. Mm. It says, disturbance, a racket, a turmoil. Mm. It says, a, a fuss. Aren't they fussing mm-hmm. and fighting now? You know? Right. It says, a stir, a storm. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're, we're watching a storm, uh, um, you know, come together, man. Mm-hmm. You know? And we're just waiting for that rain to drop, mm-hmm. you know, which is the the first shots off in World War Three, yep. man. You know? And then you say stir. Uh, yep. Stir. Yeah, and then this is this is them stirring it up, man. Kind. You know, stirring up that whole um, energy of war, man. You know, or going back and forth between um, each other, man. Daring each other. You do it first. No, you do it first. Kind. You know. Matter of fact, I got a quick scripture on that. Mm-hmm. You know, scriptures talk about how the Lord is gonna stir up these nations, man. Okay. Mm-hmm. And especially uh, what they would call the, uh, you know, the uh, you know the Russians as the uh, the Medes. Mm-hmm. You know, the, you know the Medes and the Persians, man. All right, which, uh, you know, the Persians is uh, Iran. Yep. You know, but also, guess what? India is doing some things in India. Mm. They're, they're Elamites, too. Yep. So they're Persians, man. So yep. it's all all the spirit. The Lord is having that spirit come out, man. Yep. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes. Mm. So the Lord said there's going to be commotions, right? Right. And for a commotion, it says to stir up something. So the Lord's mm-hmm. going to stir up the Medes, which is these Russians, mm-hmm. man. Okay. It says to stir up the Medes against them who... America, man, mm-hmm. all right, and his allies, man, right. all right, but then ultimately the Lord's going to stir up the allies against America, yep. man, okay, yep. it says, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not let in them, so you're not going to be able to pay off them, you yep. know, to pay them off, give them any riches or anything, mm-hmm. all right, that's how bad it's going to get, you know, out here with these wars, man, mm-hmm. okay, all right, the Lord is stirring up a, 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 a lot of beef, man, mm-hmm. you know, uh, as the people saying this word, instigating. Mm-hmm. The Lord is instigating a uh, war between these mm-hmm. nations, man. You know. That's right. That's right. Just a little bit more on the article, and we can go back to the scripture. It says, if Washington wants the Philippines to fight China, the U.S. military should come and fire the first shot. Mm-hmm. All right. A President Rod Rodrigo um, Duterte argue accusing the u.s of using its allies as bait for beijing mm. all right so i mean these are things that's being stirred up man for for war and commotion yeah so basically you know it's, it's showing you that these nations are fed up with america yep. using them as uh as bait. Uh, yeah as bait man mm-hmm. you know as uh, as the front man basically mm-hmm. you know to to go in and do their dirty work man mm-hmm. you know because uh, it said the philippines the, i believe the philippines is actually an ally of the united states yep. so that what the what the philippines is actually saying let america Start the war first. Yep. Stop using us, and then after you start, we'll b- gladly come in and help you. Mm-hmm. You know, but we're tired of being your bait, mm-hmm. man. You know, yep. and stuff. So these nations are getting tired with America's BS, you right. know, so to say. You know. Yep. That's right. Kind. And going back to Saint Luke chapter twenty-one verse nine, but when you shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, mm-hmm. for these things must 
first come to pass. Kind says, be not terrified. Mm -hmm. So we're not scared. You know, a lot of people are scared of World War III and what's going to happen, man. You know, because why? Because they see these nuclear weapons being, Mm -hmm. um, the people that are in the know, I should say, you know, of World War War III staring up. They're scared and they don't Mm -hmm. want it to happen because they see the magnitude of what this uh, uh, this war can be. Mm -hmm. Albert Einstein said that, you know, uh, there wouldn't be another war after World War III because if there was, there would be fighting with sticks and and stones. stones, You know, that means, what does that mean? Everything's going to be blown up to oblivion, man, Mm -hmm. okay? After this third World War's war, man, Mm -hmm. okay? You know, World War III is going to be the end-all, be-all of all wars, man, okay? That's right. You know? Like the scriptures say, um, the Lord is not a man and he shall lie, man. These things, as the scriptures say, must come to pass. The Lord put his word out there and he he's bound by his words, man. That's right. That's you know, right. so it, it's required to come to pass, you know? That's right. All right. It says, For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Kind. So these things have to come to pass first. Before the end comes, these are uh, these are the things that have to happen, man. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're look we're looking in the times of the end. You know, brothers, you know, used to say we're in the last days, we're in the last uh, hour. Mm-hmm. Really, we're in the last yeah, seconds. seconds, man, yep. milliseconds, man, right. before the Lord actually comes back, man. All right, we said tensions are rising, but of course we know before World War III can actually pop off, the RFID chip, mm-hmm. which is the mark of the beast according yep. to the scriptures, has to be implemented. Then World War III can go on, man. That's right. Okay? All right, so we're just waiting on really two main prophecies to pop off before the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world and he calls Jesus Christ. That's you know? right. That's right. I know, uh, I know, brother, you hold yeah, something? Hold on something. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things do I declare. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hey, former things have came to pass. What? The flood? Mm-hmm. 70 AD? These are all written in the scriptures, mm-hmm. and they happened. You know, right. uh, us uh, going into cargo yep. slavery. Mm-hmm. You know, these are all prophecies that mm-hmm. actually happened already. Right. All right. And the Lord is declaring new things mm-hmm. that are going to come to pass. Mm-hmm. So what makes you think that World War Three is not going to happen if, if the flood happened right. Right? and the Lord spoke about it, man? So everything that we've seen, the Lord is saying that, look, I've said things and they've already came to pass, yep. man. Yep. All right. So the things I say to you now that haven't come to pass, mm-hmm. they will happen. Right. You know, read that part one more time, brother. This is Isaiah chapter 42, verse nine. Behold, the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare. Mm-hmm. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Okay. And that's the righteousness of Yahweh mm-hmm. by Shemal Shai, because yep. the Lord is going to warn you before... You know, uh, uh, you know, things actually happen, mm-hmm. man. All right, he's warning our people through them his service to prophets, prophets man. Yep. You know, we're out there. You know, Lord's will be a party elect. You know, the prophets are out there actually warning mm-hmm. the people, telling you that war is coming, man. Mm-hmm. All right, that's what that's our job. We are watchmen, right? Mm-hmm. The watchman watches after to see what's going on, and he tells the city, man. Yep. All right, and that's what we're doing. The spirit power, Yahweh Shemal Shai, our who warning calls God in Jesus Christ. We're telling you that World War Three is about to go down. Mm-hmm. You know. We're in the midst of it, man. Yep. You know, I know for um, me, I recently talked to a woman who was ex-military, and she actually told me that they're secretly deploying troops, you know, on, on a, a base called Fort Bragg, man. Okay, mm. you know that they're, you know, that they're uh, stopped the so-called uh, trainings mm-hmm. and secretly shipping uh, uh, um, these troops over there, man. Yep. You know, these young troops that are not really ready yet, man. Yep. They're shipping them over there, man. I was wondering why I was seeing planes over. My house mm. and everything like that. You know, why I'm seeing uh, different aircrafts in the air, man. Right. You know? And and not aircrafts that really make any loud noises, like a commercial airplane, mm. which tells you that it's a military, military plane, yep. man. You know? All right? So, wow. you know, these are the things, these are the things Yahweh Shema Shai spoke of, all right? And they're actually coming to pass, man. That's right. Because right? the Lord's not a liar. Well, that's right. All right. You got some more, brother? Oh, that was good on that one. Yeah, okay, um, kind. You want to bring out that um that Joel? I, I could bring out a precept if you yeah, want. Uh, yeah, yeah. If whatever you got, I, I was gonna bring the Joel soon. All right, the Book of Revelation, chapter eleven, verse fourteen. The second woe is past, mm-hmm. and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, and the the second woe was World War Two. Mm-hmm. All right, the World War Two has already been passed, man. Mm-hmm. All right, and and you know it's crazy to spirit that. The Lord talks about those three woes because within those three woes, at, at that time, that was the massive death because mm-hmm. death and destruction, that's the definition of woe. Mm-hmm. At that time, that was the highest body count, mm-hmm. you know, so to say, since in that time, man, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, World War I, that was the most, you know, death mm-hmm. that it had at the time. World War II was even greater than that one. And World War Three, mm-hmm. which is the, you know, the third woe, 
okay, which is about to come to pass. That's all right? right, it's gonna surpass all the other because it's gonna be the uh, larger than World War Two and mm-hmm. World War One in death count, man. Okay, that's right. You know, you have yeah. some more on that. Yeah, that's, that's it on that. It okay. says I'm gonna read it one more time. Revelation chapter eleven verse fourteen. The second woe is past. All right. It says, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Kind of the third woe cometh quickly, man. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right? And it, it's, it's coming quick, man. Mm-hmm. All right? We, no. We're seeing it, man. All right? It's not that many uh, that many years, really, honestly, mm-hmm. between World War II and World War Three. Right. You know? So these wars are actually popping off. Plus, you got, you know, little small proxy wars. Yeah. But what do you, you know, to, if you know any history, what do you think uh, happened between World War One and World War Two? You had many mm-hmm. wars going Popping on, you know, uh, little conflicts, and mm-hmm. that's the same thing yep. with war, war, from World War Two to World War Three. Little mm-hmm. tiny conflicts in between, trade wars, yeah, trade wars, mm-hmm. and, and all these things going on that that uh, end up involving what everyone in the world, man, mm-hmm. you know, and, and that's what we're seeing. And that's that new thing that the Lord is declaring, man. That World War Three that's coming quickly, yeah. you know. And then um, the scriptures say, "Though it tarry, wait for it, that's right. so it will surely come. It will not tarry." It's not tearing any any longer, man. You've seen it happening so fast, man. Yes, you know, uh, people who are still in denial, they can't truly deny too much, man, because it's, it's, it's the news is breaking every day. Something different, man. That's right. That's right. You got one? Uh, this is Isaiah 54, verse 16. Huh. Um, this is Isaiah 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that blow off the coals in the fire. Mm-hmm. And those are those scientists, man. Mm-hmm. All right, the, the German scientists, you know, the, the smart men of Edom, mm-hmm. Teeman, the Temanites, yeah. man. Okay, you know, those those German scientists created uh, a, a a weapon, man, and that's the thermonuclear uh, bomb, the atom bomb, man, yep. you know, All right, which later was changed into a thermonuclear bomb, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want to go on, brother? And they bring forth the instrument for his work. Mm-hmm. And that instrument is some n- nuclear missiles, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, keep on going, brother. And I have created the waster to destroy. The waster, man. Those are the thermonuclear missiles, man. Mm-hmm. Those are the waster to destroy. Those are the things that's gonna lay this whole land desolate, mm-hmm. man. All right, and wherever other you know missiles are shot off, that those areas that the missile hit, it's gonna be completely wiped out. Right. You know, nothing left, nothing standing, man. Okay, it's all be dust and ash. Okay, got some more, brother. Oh, that was it on that. All right, God. I think I have a precept of that one, but um, if I don't, okay, I'll get that Joel. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Um, since we're talking about um ICBM missiles, if you don't mind, yep. Jeremiah chapter fifty verse <clears throat> fifty verse nine. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon mm-hmm. an assembly of great nations right. from the north country, mm-hmm. and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken, their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man, mm-hmm. none shall return in vain. Okay, yeah, and those are thermonuclear missiles, man. Mm-hmm. All right, they're going to hit Babylon the Great, man, uh, you know, because mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken, Babylon wasn't taken down that way. Right, it wasn't. You know? And then, and how can you, not to cut you off, but how can you shoot arrows, uh, actually arrows from bow and arrows from one country to another you can't yeah you know the only the, the only if you're looking at it spiritually and you have a um spiritual ear and eyes to see it's talking about icbm missiles man that's right you know because those are only things that's the only instrument or weapon you can use to shoot something from across the country man or that can travel many miles man yeah that's right you that's know right. that's right and, yeah. it, and it says as an expert man these these Missiles are going to be in perfect ranking order, man. Yeah, like it's precise. Go, precise. <clears throat> the Spirit of the Lord is going to be on those weapons, man, to That's make right. uh, those um, ICBM missiles, you know, and they're yeah. going to hit exactly where they're supposed to hit. That's right. And we already know that our Lord, you know, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, mm-hmm. all right, right. is a consuming fire. All right. His Spirit is a consuming fire, man. All right. So his his Spirit is going to be in the missiles, man. Mm-hmm. Why do you think that it's going to consume everything? Because this Holy Spirit is going to be in it, man. It's going to cleanse everything, man. You know? That's right. Okay. Come on. Uh, let me get uh, Joel. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. This is the book of Joel, chapter <coughs> chapter 3, verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, or Yahweh Shapat. That's yeah. right. All right. You want to speak on that, brother? Yeah, you, you read it again? It's like okay. it. Okay. This is um, Joel, chapter uh, 3, verse 2. Mm-hmm. I will also gather all nations 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Lord is gathering all these nations up, man. For what? For for World War Three, man. Mm -hmm. And that Valley of Hawashipat, man, in the Middle East. That's right. right. That's why you see, you know, um, the 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 Dot Hades Indians sending the fleet out. Um, Iran sending the fleet out. That's right. You got China, Russia, all of these different nations gathering up, man. Okay, for the Valley of Hawashipat, man, where the Lord is going to judge these nations, man. That's right. That's right. It says, "I will bring them down to the Valley of." I'm, I'm gonna say uh, verbatim, uh, Jehoshaphat mm -hmm. also knows Yahweh's Shapat, which means Yahweh's judgment. Man. Yep. All right. So the Lord's gonna judge them in that in that valley. Right. You know it says, and plead with them for mm -hmm. my people, and for my heritage Israel. Hey, and who's the Lord's people? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. See, people don't. The, you got these other nations thinking that they're going to be the next superpower, like China, you know? China thinking they are next up, man, but not realizing the underdogs is up next, man. That's right. Starting with the elect, man, of the nation of Israel, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man. All right, so the Lord is pleading uh, pleading for um, the cause of the nation of Israel, man. And uh -huh. that word plead means judge. That's right. So That's these right. nations are going to be killing each other off, man. It's going to be like the worst um, destruction, you know, uh, in, in a war, in a battle ever, man. That's right. That's you know? Because, right. uh... You know, um, as scriptures say, this war is not going to be, you know, with garments and road and blood, but mm -hmm. with fuel of fire. Yep. You know, so a lot of, you know, of course, they're going to have the infiltry, okay? Mm -hmm. And those are like the start-off punches, man. Yep. You know, of the fight. That's then right. it's going to get, you know, more dirty. They're going to start pulling out different, you know, in in, in analogy terms, you're going to have somebody pull out a knife. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have somebody pull out a gun. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have somebody pull up with three, four guns, man, right. an assault rifle, man. Right. Until it gets to the point where, you know, a hey, nuclear missile is getting thrown, you know, shot off, man. Right. All right, so these are the things that we're looking at. It's going to ramp up fast right. and be quick, man. It's not going to be long uh, drawn out, man, because uh, the scriptures say the, sh the, doors are, the days are going to be shortened for the elect's sake, you know? That's right. You know? And it's truly going to reveal the saying that goes, you live by the sword, you die you know, by the sword. What was right. Esau blessed with? The that's sword. Right. That's right. Uh, finish this off. It says, and it says, and for my pe my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Kind. So this heathen right now are in the land of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. All right. But also, you know, they have, uh, you know, uh, you know, scattered the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. you know, done harm unto them. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is literally to go judge these nations for everything that they've done mm -hmm. unto the nation of Israel, man. Yep. Okay. Everything that's going to happen unto them. All right. You know, the, the Elamites, that had, had East Indians, mm -hmm. that due to uh, smelling Africans, mm -hmm. man, or which we're not, right. you know, the, the musty Arabs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, the uh, you know the the chink dyed uh, you know <laughs> ja Japanese, Japanese man. Chinese, yep. yeah, you know these gooks, man. All you know the Japanese, the Chinese, you know, yep. you know all the way down to you know the main man, Esau, even the so-called white man. That's right. You know they're all gonna pay for everything that they have done mm -hmm. unto the nation of Israel, man. Yep. Yeah, that's right. You got a precept, brother? Yeah. All um, right, come. This is Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse nine. Mm -hmm. Start at four. That's All what right. you want to. Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. Start at four. Okay. Yeah. You can jump in now. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse four. The noise of a multitude, and I mean, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, uh -huh. a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. Yeah, and that's in World War Three. Like I said, we were just reading Joel. Uh, the valley of Yahweh Shapat, you know, mm -hmm. Yahweh's judgment. The Lord's gonna gather them all there, you know, for, mm -hmm. for war. That's you know? right. Keep on going, brother. The Lord of hosts mustered it, mustered it, the host of the battle. Kind of, you know, when you look at that uh, term, the Lord of hosts, it roughly translates into the English, the God of war. Mm -hmm. So showing you that our, our power, Yahweh Bashim Hashem, the word because God and Jesus Christ is a man of war, as yep. the scripture said. That's another scripture to back up that mm -hmm. the Lord is a man of war. Mm -hmm. you know, so Yahweh of hosts, the yeah, God of the God of war. armies, the Lord of armies, mm -hmm. you know, muster, which means to instigate the mm -hmm. cause, to make it hostile, yep. the, the, ho stir. the host of the battle, man, mm -hmm. you know. So he's stirring up the host, which is the armies. <laughs> Of the battle, man, which is right. it could be that battle in World War Three and in the Valley of Yahweh Shapat, man. You That's know, right? Any more, brother? Yeah, you jumped the first time, brother. Yeah. All right. right. This is Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse nine. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh cruel, mm -hmm. both with wrath and fierce anger. So cruel, the Lord's coming cruel, man. You know, not coming nice. You know, cruel means you know inhumane. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know. 
a, a savage like man. All right, and the Lord when he come pop us on the scene in World War Three happening, you know he's gonna he's gonna do these people dirty, man. You know, as people like to say, man, he's mm-hmm. gonna he's gonna do them all types of wrong mm-hmm. <laughs> and stuff, man. That's you right. know, because they are gonna be killing themselves off. All right, but then remember they gotta they gotta band themselves together to fight against the Lord, and the mm-hmm. Lord's gonna destroy them, man. That's right. All right, so this is what we got to look forward to. That's right. You know, our Lord coming back. You know, and wrecking shit, man. That's right. You know? And then come and save his elect, man. That's you know? right. Lord's will we be a part of that number. You know? Any more on that, brother? Yeah. To lay the land desolate. Kind of mm. lay the land desolate. America will be laid desolate by the thermonuclear mo- missiles and the chariots of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, who the world, and it calls UFOs, man. Right. Okay? All right. Keep on going, bro. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof mm-hmm. out of it, man. And let's talk about, you know, Esau, Edom, but also mainly our people, yeah, man, because right. our people are the really ones who can sin. Well, yep. Okay? All right? Which means the transgression of the law, which the law was given, the law statute of commandments was given unto the nation of Israel, the so-called That's Negroes, right. Latinos, and Native Americans. So all sinners of ne- Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will be cut off, you know? And scriptures, die. Yeah, will cut off and die. Mm-hmm. And the scriptures say the evildoers all right, mm-hmm. shall be cut off. But that's those right. that wait upon Yahweh by Shimon Shai shall inherit the earth, man. And that's mm-hmm. the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? That's right. You know more that, brother? No, oh, that was it. That was it? You got another precept? Because if not, I got one that um, I love to close on if, if, if you don't have any. Go ahead. Con, you got one? Nope. nope. All right. So, um, you know, like you were saying, brother, um, the men of the Lord, you know, looking forward to this, man. You know, the disciples... They was looking forward to this. They was asking for the kingdom back when Lord Yahweh was on the scene. Man. That's right. That's you right. You know, when is it going to come forth, man? All right. We are, these, we are in these times, man. The disciples are back here in reincarnation, man, playing their lot. All right. So, um, uh, Sirach, known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse 7. I'm going to read through. Mm-hmm. It says, there be nine th- things. Sirach, chapter 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. Mm-hmm. And the tenth I will utter. With my tongue, mm-hmm. a man that hath joy of his children, a kind of man that gets to see his children grow up in happiness, man. Which we're we're about to receive that, man. Mm-hmm. You know, the Lord's will be a part of the elect. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. And what else, brother? And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy, he that ooh, that gave me chills down mm-hmm. my spine, brother. <laughs> hey, Oof, bro, he that see of his enemy fall, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and who's our main enemy? Esau, Edom, mm-hmm. the so-called white man. All right, and these other heathen nations, mm-hmm. man. We're about to see them fall yep. before our eyes, man. You know, to our power, Yahweh mm-hmm. Bashim Al Shai, man. Right. And Lord's will be a part of the elect. The Lord is gonna have us right there, right, right next to Him mm-hmm. while everything is going down, mm-hmm. man. You know, and that's what you want to be a part of, man. Right. So uh, all the hell that brothers is catching, it's all worth it at the end of the day because we know that the elect have already won the battle, that's man. right, bro? You know. So right. we, we got to push through whatever you got to push to mm-hmm. to receive this reward to keep get your crown, mm-hmm. bro. Lord's will be part of the You got to do what you got to do, man. That's you right. Know? I'm speaking to myself first, and I know for uh, brothers also, man. That's you right. Know? Hey, the scriptures say the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, man. That's right. Okay, and hey, we pushing this truth, man. We got to endure to the end, man. You know, uh, scriptures say look up for your redemption it is not. Nigh. That's right. Hey, Lord willing, we part of the elect and we get beat up in those chariots. And we get to see the fall of our enemies, bro. That's right. We get to see, hey, and then the kingdom is here, man. <laughs> and the kingdom will be there, bro. We That's just right. got to continue to push and do the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's no right. No slacking, no slothfulness, man. That's Fight right. that demon, man. That's right. You know, and I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, you know. That's right. Anything That's right. you want to say, bro? Con, con. Hey, so with, you finish? Yep. Yeah, so right. That being said, before we close out, want to give all praise, this honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rokakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the, the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom. Shalom. shalom.